All right, let's talk about the death of Jeff Beck. This is a real bummer for us Jeff Beck fans. I just found out they died on the 10th. And yeah, anything I could try to find out about Jeff Beck, I did in the past because I thought he was so cool. Not just because he was on rock band. <laughs> I would say the first time I saw Jeff Beck was playing with, um, not Stevie Wonder. He was playing a Stevie Wonder song. He covered maybe four or five Stevie Wonder songs really big, which I'm a big Stevie Wonder fan as well. So that was cool that he decided to, it, it's, it was weird. They, they covered like Superstition with Stevie Ray Vaughan. He would just stand there and play along with Stevie Ray Vaughan, like standing there. That's like trying to box with Mike Tyson, you know what I mean? And he was known to play with a lot of the the bigger musicians. He played with Jimi Hendrix. Um, I could go on and on, but yeah, he's played, but over the ages too. And that's really the coolest part about it. He's pretty much recruitable to play with any other musician because he had a somewhat jammer style. That His style was different too. It was all finger style. I guess he stopped using a pick in the 80s. Anything that I remember was his finger style because he would use his thumb a lot too. His thumb and a lot of the fingers at the same time, like doing some arpeggiating madness but he also did a lot with the volume knob at the same time to kind of fade in stuff i thought he was pretty amazing it, it probably would have been hard to be his sound man <laughs> his rig was pretty simple he actually played at esquire and that was in his early days with the yardbirds you know the yardbirds was like a bigger 60s band in the UK that recruited him. And uh, that Esquire got stolen. It's in the Cleveland Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But he actually, actually s traded it for a dual humbucking, what was it? Les Paul or something stupid. Yeah, so he, he traded it for something stupid and felt really bad about it. And he was a real collector too. That was the other cool thing about Jeff Beck. Like, since I went to Hot Rod School and I got into cars and all that stuff, too. He was super into cars. Like, it probably affected his music <laughs> that he was messing around with cars so much. But his Hot Rod collections are pretty much on top. So they're featured in different car collecting episodes. If you really watch, you can, he's in episodes of car collecting club stuff. So he's, he's a famous car collector, too, I would say. Um, I really dug his kind of emotional style that he used. It was more about feeling and stuff, which was one of those old school things, you know. <sighs> he'd never be replaceable. Awesome, dude. I don't know what else I could say about Jeff Beck. I mean, we could talk more about his music career because it just kept going, dude. It was like, it wasn't just the 60s. It wasn't just the 70s. It wasn't just the 80s. He had higher output of music in the 90s. He kept going after that. He was still touring. He was like 78 when he died. I didn't realize he was that old because he still looked super young. <laughs> and he was driving hot rods and stuff. So we love you, Jeff.